Welcome to Game Geology, where I compare video game rock formations with the real-life elements that might have inspired them. I am Pentagram, and let me tell you a bit more about rocks. I promised we would go back to Urbrasar in my last video, and there we are, but this time I will talk about it in its entirety. As you might have picked up by the enormous amount of evidence, and the small amount of lore we have at our disposal, the Abrasar Desert used to be quite different. Outward is, despite its traditional medieval RPG look, a post-apocalyptic game. A catastrophic event called the Scourge destroyed most of the civilization. Though this invasion of horrid monsters is contained in the time of the game, the map is highly impacted by it, with remains of the battle scattered everywhere. The region of Abrasar probably suffered the most from this event. It used to be a land covered in water, and is now completely dried up. According to the lore, Queen Calixa and King Simeon's army took back the region from the Scourge 70 years after the event. As they are still alive and look in their 50s in the game time, the drying of the place probably took around 100 years, no more. According to the lore again, the water in Abrasa dried up because giant earthquakes caused by the Scourge diverted the main river. For considering the amount of water that could have been contained in the region might make such a thing look like pure fantasy, it is unfortunately a very realistic thing. Does this look familiar? The Aral Sea was a giant saltwater lake caught between Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan. In the 1930s, the Soviet Union began diverting rivers in order to irrigate cotton fields. The project was greatly increased in the 60s, and the Aral Sea slowly dried up, losing most of its surface. Some Soviet scientists were perfectly aware of the consequences, but did it anyway, considering the content production to be more important. As a result, the fishing industry has now collapsed, the entire population living around the lake has seen itself put in danger, and the state of the Oral Sea is considered one of our planet's worst environmental disasters. Without going into spoilers, both of these disasters had direct or indirect human causes. Though it seems unlikely that we will ever see the Abrasa Desert back to its more watery form, there has been projects to make the Aral Sea great again. Unfortunately, the very high cost of any operation makes things quite difficult. The subject is very complex, and since I am trying to keep this short, I advise you to go look more into the details on your own. It is a tragic but fascinating story. Let's end this episode on my personal rating of the drying up of the Abrasa region. The Abrasa Desert is by far my favorite region of a base game and its visual storytelling is a wonder. I am giving it a 9 out of 10, as the drying of the region is on paper really close to the Aral Sea drying. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video interesting, do not hesitate to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content.